and, and can I make this quick point? I, I think it's really important to say that in saying this, nobody is saying divorce is good. Nobody is saying exactly. you should divorce. No one's saying these things. However, there has been an oppression in the church whereby we have, like, we are told God hates it. Therefore, it's never an option. And now I'm being battered. God, yeah, uh, yeah. God hates it. So it's, it's not on the table for me. And Come now on, I'm, yeah. I'm being raped by my husband, who's Come a drunk. On, Darren. Um, yeah. God hates it. So I've got to raise my children in an environment where they see me being battered daily and they think that's normal. And, and when we want to talk about, what's the term? Generational, generational curses. There are some people who stay in these vile, abusive relationships because God hates divorce. And you know what? They raise a child who does that same thing to his wife. And the, and 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 it runs in the family. And we go, ooh, spiritual, we need a witch doctor, we need an exorcism to get rid of this generational curse. And all we need to do is read our Bible, apply it properly, let our children see that as normal. And God is good. Sorry, uh, I'll get off my... Um, Soapbox now. Listen, let me just rebuke you real quickly. Do not say sorry, because what you just said has just opened the whole thing up. Because this is what we run into. This is the reason why I'm dealing with this particular topic the way I'm dealing with it, Darren. Because the thing is, people are in bondage, believing that God hates this thing. And here it is. This is the connotation that we're saying. Because God hates it, I want to live holy before God. So I don't want to do this thing. But I'm literally being beaten, battered blue emotionally, physically, and mentally. But I have to stay in it because God hates it. Now, that's bondage. And I'm going to say it one more time, and then I'm going to leave it um, for someone um, else to ask the questions. Why is the holy God telling me how to do that which he hates? <laughs> 